Hello Interwebs and YouTube. Here we look at the exhaust fan in the bottom right hand side back corner. The 50mm fan is 12 volt but it runs from a 9 volt supply. The adapter was printed from the fan to 100mm pipe. Uh, that's the yellow piece. The adapter can be installed this way or turned 180 degrees. It clears the printer either way. Here we see the exhaust flex hose to dump outside. This is the view from the inside and the covers and we are looking at the fan inlet. So there is the shield for the laser for the Zmorph. The one with the square cutout is the original one. The one with the round is the new one that I've printed. As you can see in this view, I've reduced the length by approximately five millimeters. And the reason for that is the new one will be for air assist. And we need a bit more gap to allow the air to push the smoke away. And this is clamped together to allow me to draw the attachment holes. Now there is another difference, as you will be able to see over there. There is a slot with another piece, which is this piece. And this piece uh, I'm going to glue on there. Um, that will actually sit where the logo on the laser used to sit. I'm removing this. And inside this, I'm going to have this little needle valve. Uh, that will actually, with a six mole tube, will feed the air. So the wall thickness on this is fairly substantial. I think it's three millimeters, if I remember correctly, with that slot over there. And that slot will then if the screws in on the side will feed the actual air into uh, the bottom piece. Installed the laser head uh, on top of the gantry and then I clamped the new air feeder piece uh, so that I can drill it accurately because it needs to the two slots needs to line up so that the air can be fed through. Next thing I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to mark this area so that I can then drill and tap it. And there we have it. It is bonded. I used AP ABS goo to bond it together. As you can see the little fillet over there. And drilled and tapped the uh, needle valve as you can see over there so now theoretically if we let air in over there it should come out the bottom and blow away all the smoke second modification done